a sixth generation farmer. I want this land and these resources to be available to my children and their children and future generations. So Carinata has the potential to improve soil health, it has immediate benefits and potentially long-term benefits as well. It's a crop with a high level of biomass. So if you consider like the nutrient content in that new crop that's not normally in the system being introduced back into the rotation, uh, whether it's cultivated in minimally or in a minimal or no-till situation, that decomposition is going to just bring a uh, level of nutrients back to the, to the soil profile. It's going to be available for the next crop. And because of the layer of residue that it leaves behind, you have improvements in water retention and nutrient retention for the next cash crop for the farmer. So there's all of these benefits aside from having financial benefits for the grower. It's hard to get good nutrient and water retention in our sandy soil. Carinata has a great fit in our system. It kind of breaks up the monotony of the same crop year after year or two crops in rotation year after year by adding some biodiversity into the soil, putting in nutrients back to the soil that we didn't previously have introduced there. Uh, but the biggest thing is if there is some economic benefit to the grower. Market prices don't really change on our commodity crop crops. Fertilizer costs, fuel costs continue to go up and up and up. And so if you add in a new crop in, into a farming system that's very low input, you get so many benefits from it in terms of the soil health aspect, but also an immediate benefit because it's a harvestable grain crop.